Hello, sports fans, sports betters, and YouTube Nation. John here with Ricket Picks. Uh, what a great day yesterday. If uh, you guys followed me on my on my Patreon, on my YouTube, any of my YouTube premiums, um, just an overall outstanding day. Um, six and one overall. UCLA just couldn't get the job done last night. Which tells me yesterday I, found, I learned a lot about college football, as everybody should have. If you didn't have a quarterback going in, you didn't know who your quarterback was, or you lost your quarterback from the previous four years. Um, this is the first time UCLA doesn't have a DTR era, and it showed. The uh, quarterback, not that great, not that great scrambling. Um, did not put up a lot of points against Coastal Carolina. I don't believe Coastal Carolina's defense is, is as good as it played last night, which tells me UCLA's offense is not as good as it was. Ohio State didn't have a quarterback going in. They're going with a two-quarterback system. They don't have a quarterback that can make throws. They don't have a quarterback that can scramble and make throws at the same time like they've had for the last, you know, 10 years. They're going to have a struggling season. Their defense played really good. Um, I don't know how good that Indiana team is. I don't think they're that good, so I expected a low score from them. But I think everybody expected the Buckeyes to put up more than 23 points. And, um, you know, red flag right there. They're ranked number three, only putting up 23 points. Yes, it was a Big Ten matchup right out of the gate, but um, still, um, you know, not saying hit the alarm bells yet, but um, Notre Dame's right around the corner. Notre Dame's putting up almost 50 a game right out of the gate. So they have a quarterback. So a lot of stuff learned. TCU, um, they're not as good as uh, everyone. Or not, I shouldn't say everyone because there's a lot of people that didn't think TCU was going to be that good. Um, they're living off a lot of what happened last year. Again, different quarterback different uh, outcome uh, Colorado yeah they're going to be good they got Sanders they got um, Deion Sanders as their coach they got Sanders as their quarterback four-star recruit still good, great kid but um you know every, you know TCU minus 21 I think that was pretty easy yesterday for everybody to jump on Colorado because TCU is not going to be that good this year either Baylor um got actually stomped so a lot of big time programs over the past few years that are not going to be big time programs this year so keep that in mind when you're betting that. Today we're going college football, big game, big game. Number five LSU versus number eight Florida State. Um, LSU living off a lot of what they did in the past. Also, I think with this with this uh, number five ranking. Yeah, they got Brian Kelly. It's the second year of his offense. They're going to be without running back John Emery. Still. Again, when, when, when preseason rankings come out, it's like, okay, what did they do last year? How many people did they keep? Well, Florida State kept 77 people off their 10-2 and two team. So they have 77 returning kids from that team. Um, just pick it up here. But uh, it's a neutral site game played in Florida. Um, obviously, closer to Florida State than LSU, so there's going to be a lot of Florida State Seminole fans there. It's not Seminole country, but almost Seminole country. Uh, I believe it begins when we play Orlando. But the Seminoles come in riding off that 10-2. and two. They beat LSU last year in a back-and-forth game. They've almost dominated the series. They've only played 11 times, um, five times if you date back to 1983, which they've won the last five, but you can't really go, okay, yeah, so they beat them in 1983. Big whoop. We're almost 30 years after that. We are 30 years after that. But big thing for me in this game, Florida State got a taste of what they could be last year, returning a whole bunch of that same team, that same core, same everything. I expect to see them not dominate this game. I do expect a back-and-forth game because both defenses, <coughs> excuse me, they're kind of – you know, here or there, hit or miss. They can play defense. They cannot play. They're not known for defense. Both offenses are known for putting up points. We know Brian Kelly teams can put up points. We've seen Florida State put up points last year. So I think there's going to be some points scored in this game. I think there's going to be a little bit of back and forth. But at the end of the day, I think Florida State takes it. Um, this game was two and a half. Then it went down to one and a half. Now it's back to two. But the funny thing about it is the money line of Florida State's been plus 105 for a while now. That hasn't really fluctuated at all. So that tells me they're a little nervous about that because they're going to add points, but they're not going to add value to the money line. So I'm going to run with Florida State in this one on the money line at plus 105. That's what I like. Uh, it's going to be my 20-spot play for you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Hit that thumbs-up button for me. Put a comment in the comment section. Not a big slate today, big slate in baseball. Some college football games going on. Let me know what you got. Um, let me know your best bet of the day in the comment section. Hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Thank you very much for watching this video. Most importantly, good luck with your bets.